Hey, what's going on, peeps? Derek here, bringing you day 17 of the 31 Days of Horror. What I got for you guys today is a film from 1962. It's a film I sadly have never seen before, but I've heard immensely good things about. And the history upon this film, like, it influenced, like, certain directors and their filmmaking in the future. And I always wanted to check it out. So what I got for you guys today is from Herc Harvey and it's Carnival of Souls from 1962. Main plot of this one sets up with uh, what happens in the beginning is a drag race with two cars. One would like three two girls and a guy and the other with two guys in the car I believe and what happens is they end up at like this uh, bridge across a river and the car with uh, the two girls and the guy ends up in the river and the girl one of the girls named Mary survives this uh accident they still haven't found like the other survivors of this uh car and it's pretty much it follows mary through like her what she does after she survives this accident she pretty much moves away to another town she takes a job as a organist at a, a church and she's living like this uh house of like a landlord and she meets her neighbor Mr. Linden who is attracted to her you could tell that when they first meet but what's happening while this is going on Mary is starting to see these visions of this uh man with a like a pasty white face he appears throughout the film in various scenes and she thinks she's going a little insane. She's trying to figure out what is happening. And there's some scenes where people, while she's outside of like the house, people can't hear her talk. Or, like they don't know that she's there. So she's trying to figure out what happened. And what she soon realizes it might have to do with uh, she sees like this abandoned pavilion in the background of the town, which used to be a carnival. So she's trying to figure out the mystery of what's going on and it leads to a thrilling climax. Now that's the main plot of the film. My main thoughts on this film now. This is really interesting stuff for like 1962 filmmaking. It really, like it says like one of the influences of this film, one of the directors that was influenced by this film was David Lynch. You can see that with like the way it was shot and the camera angles and it has this film is beautifully shot for like the way they described in the back of the criterion is like a B movie. It has some really well shot scenes in this. It's really beautifully shot and it has some great atmosphere to it too in the black and white it's like outstanding and uh Mary's played by uh what's the name of the actress? Candace Hillgross, she does a really good job in this film. She's really like, you just follow her mostly through the film and her acting is really well done for this role. It really does like, she's really well fitted for this role and you can tell like the scenes where she thinks she's going crazy and about to be teary eyed and stuff and no one believed in her. You could see like the fear in her face and it's really for like a low budget B movie like they said this film was. It has some actually pretty decent acting in it for that time period. It, like no there's not really a bad actor in this film in my like all the characters fitted the roles that they presented to them. And it was really like a very interesting film that they would even consider this a B movie. You know what I mean? It's really and the score it's like this all 
organ based score where it has like this heavy like organ throughout which is kind of ironic that Mary is an organic organist in a church in the film so it really does like uh, bring that airiness to the score and it really does like go well with the atmosphere of the film now yeah and I'll, another thing I forgot to mention about the acting the director Herb Harvey, Herc Harvey is actually he plays the man with the pale face that you see throughout the film when I first saw it I was like what the fuck I mean, really like good like like first time I saw him I actually jumped I was like what the hell is this because you were expecting it at the same time and stuff it was really interesting film in the way it went in the end of, I don't want to give it away because it's a film you really have to sit down and watch I do recommend you watch this film and yeah the endings I I loved it I kind of saw it coming but I didn't at the same time it was really well done the way they did this film and for a first time watch for Carnival of Souls I'm gonna give this a solid 9 out of 10 it's a really well done film and it should be seen and owned I do highly recommend you grab the Criterion Edition it comes with two discs, one with the theatrical version of the film and the other with the director's cut, which is the one I watched of the film. And it's it's highly enjoyable. I do recommend this film. 9 out of 10 for Carnival of Souls. Awesome film. Alright guys, that's all I got for day 17. I'll be back tomorrow with day 18, of course. I'm going to be reviewing another oldie but goodie that I've never seen before. So, I'll catch you then. Peace out.